now. It's against the law for Nevada teachers to strike. They could face thousands of dollars in fines and jail time if they do. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. But the Clark County Teachers Union is launching another effort to overturn a 55-year-old state law. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Peguero joins us live near the Secretary of State's office up in North Las Vegas. Joshua. Brian Denise, CCEA says it met with 49 lawmakers, lobbying them to overturn this law that bans teachers from striking. But there are concerns of what giving educators the ability to strike could do. There's definitely a pathway to alienate uh, public support by the union. Uh, if they continue to engage in these striking activities. Jeffrey Lawrence is with the Nevada Policy Research Institute, a conservative-leaning group. He says the original 1969 law was put in place to force Nevada to recognize unions, but the law has strengthened over the years, and giving teachers the ability to strike can cause disruptions. The availability of arbitration is supposed to make striking irrelevant. Uh, in other words, there's no reason for the union to exert leverage over the school district because they have a mechanism that they just used, by the way, to get exactly the contract that they wanted. Hours before Thursday's press conference, CCA put together this video regarding their effort. We are handcuffed by a law that was passed in 1969, and our educators want the ability to strike. CCEA needs 102,000 signatures from registered Nevada voters to put the petition on the ballot. A quarter of the signatures must be from each of one of the state's four congressional districts. If you want to be able to make sure your kid has a qualified educator in a classroom, you got to give us the power to make sure that happens. CCA cites a poll that we couldn't ind independently verify, claiming that 70% of voters want teachers to have the ability to strike. They say they will start collecting signatures in about four weeks. Reporting live outside North Las Vegas City Hall, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. Now, in response to that press event, the superintendent issued a statement that reads in part, the law they seek to overturn exists to prevent community chaos and its adverse impacts on our economies and families.